Okay, y'all. So, yesterday, this is what I was doing. I was taking down these. Yeah, um, it's called Brazilian wool braids that I did myself. I am taking them down because my head was not feeling good. I think I just knew it was time to take it down. So, I started cutting. My daughter said she didn't want to help. So, I said, I'm doing it myself because I put them in. And I am going to take them down myself. And it wasn't hard because I had already knotted it at the end. So all I had to do was cut it at that knot and un and just untwirl it. It was so easy, y'all. I'm so glad I found this style. Because now I'm going to be doing this style myself. I'm going to do them smaller next time. So I'll, let, I'll bring y'all along when I do um, the smaller uh, single east twist. Ooh, this is gonna my, be my go-to style when I just need a rest from doing my hair. But I am missing my afro, y'all. I'm missing my twist outs and my afro and my creative designs that I come up with when it comes to my hair. And people be like, who did your hair? And I'd be like, I did my hair. What are you talking about? You know how long I've been natural since 2009? <laughs> with no perm. With no perm since 2009. So I've learned a few things. One thing I learned is you got to take care of your hair. Another thing I learned is you got to make sure those ends are clipped regularly. Another thing I learned is don't have everybody up in your hair because you don't know where their hands been. So, yeah. So I'm taking it down myself and I'm watching um, this show on Netflix called Worst worst ex um something like that and those stories whoo those stories i could probably put my story up there too when i think about it Ooh, i was into it too i ain't watch no tv in a while so i was into it look and look at me i'm going so quick with it and yeah i had my hair braided underneath there so that's why it's looking crinkly like a coolio <laughs> i'm the woman version of coolio <laughs> y'all see now don't be laughing because i'm almost done coolio <laughs> i'm coolio for real oh my goodness so funny now let me take down these braids so i gotta take it down each individual braids and i was still watching that show Ooh, it was interesting but i couldn't I only watched like two episodes because about that third episode, my spirit was like, that's enough. <laughs> you don't need to watch no more. So that's what I did. Ooh, look, y'all. I took it all out. I got my afro back. Eh, 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 hey, I got my afro back. I got it back. <laughs> yes, I had a couple more that I missed. You know how you just miss one? And then you go to wash your hair, ooh, and it's still there. And you're like, oh, man, how did I forget that one? I'm checking, checking, let me check. I still end up missing one, y'all, because <laughs> later that night, I found one on the side. <laughs> so before I wash my hair, I'm definitely going to have to check. Ooh, a little piece of hair fell out. You know, that's, that's that dead hair. Mm-hmm, look, look, look. Yes, it's looking good, because before I put these in, I had Michelle and hair. She she washed my hair. She clipped my ends. So I'm good. Healthy. And I got my edges. And I got my edges. <laughs> I'm so silly. And I got my edges. Uh, uh. Now it's time. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Get out your hair because she is Sharice. I know you love it. Your 4C hair. Okay. It's time to wash my hands so I can start cooking because my daughter says she's hungry. So, I'm about to cook, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, so, let me get the fettuccine sauce. That's because I'm lazy. I could have made it from scratch. Yeah, I know how to make it from scratch, but I'm using the one in the jar, Bertoli. And then I got the fettuccine from Barilla. Yes, hold on. Let me get my other ingredients. So... I am going to use this cheese parmesan. I got the cheap can because they all taste the same. Mm. And then let me get the, she likes a little meat corn, which is not real chicken. And then, but she don't know that. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that in there because she like chewing on like meat 
Oh, and look, I got my, I got my broccoli. Now we ready. Now we ready. So what I'm going to do now, I have to get the pot, put the water in the pot and let the, let it boil, broil so that I can um, put the fettuccine in there. But before that, let me give me some to drink. Yep, I got white grape. This is not, this is not wine. This is white grape. Now, I know they say that you can turn turn the, the grape seeds into wine. That is true because this was tasting a little whiny. <laughs> but I put it in my glass. I used to get the white grape peach or the white peach cranberry. But this was cheaper. So, that's what I got. Mmm. Ooh, baby. Yes. Now, y'all know you can't drink wine like that straight down. Well, some people can. <laughs> Some people can. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this tastes so good. Ooh, we. It tastes good, but it don't taste better than the white peach, uh, cranberry. So I'm, I'm gonna get the white peach. Look at that. See, that's that that stubborn, um, edge control from the other company. I told y'all I'm gonna use this new edge control from Mil Michelle and Hair. So I'll let y'all. I'll give y'all a review on that. But yeah, let me put that juice back. But yeah, I'm ready. Y'all ready? Get out your hair, Kashia Sharice. Dang, you miss your hair. <sighs> Girl, I know you like your hair. Let me wash my hands again because I've been in my hair. Let me wash my hands again. Dry my hands so I can get to cooking. Because my daughter going to be out here asking me, uh, what a food, what a food, what a food. So I got the pot that I'm going to put the water in for the fettuccine. Fill that up with water. Yes, yes, yes. Fill that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, <laughs> eighteen, nineteen. I lost count. Okay. So let that fill up. And I'm going to put it on the stove. Okay, so it's filled up. And I am going to put it on the stove over there. I got my other pot over there with the nice seasonings to make the house smell good. The cinnamon, the, the um, vanilla. Okay, let me get some salt. Because, you know, you put salt in there to make sure it cooks a little bit faster. There we go. There we go. Let me adjust my drawstring here get my outfit together because I am on camera never know yeah okay here we go ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm so silly okay so there you go and now let's get down to cutting this Brrr. oh baking soda y'all this is what you clean your vegetables and stuff with I use that and um, apple vinegar so I already cleaned the broccoli I'm rinsing it off and it's going to be time to cut it now. Cut it into little pieces. I got one big branch here. So I'm going to cut these into pieces so that I can put it into my meal. Okay, so I am cutting those broccoli pieces into smaller pieces that I'm going to put in the fettuccine y'all see it y'all see it and yeah and look who came and popped in she was like nope i don't want to be on camera <laughs> yeah but look she all in the kitchen trying to see what she can eat I'm like, can i have some of your skittles you got that snack because i ain't supposed to be eating it anyway go on ahead and eat my snacks up because i'm doing better this this time yeah look at her she's sniffing around go on here go on here to be done soon she oh my daughter i love her okay so i'm finishing up cutting this broccoli up and yeah i'm almost done y'all I'm done. <laughs> now I'm going to rinse it. 
rinse. Make sure you rinse it. Well, I rinsed it already. Washed it, but I rinsed it again. And look at the water boiling over there. So I got to put the fettuccine pasta in there so it can cook. And how do y'all like y'all pasta? Al dente or soft <laughs> or hard? <laughs> Al dente, I think it will be a crunch or bite, but not too much. But yeah, I'm gonna use the whole box because I know my daughter can eat, and I know that. I'll be eating too, but I try not to overeat. Because I only eat really once a day. Today I ate twice. So I cut mine. I, I break mine in half, y'all. Do y'all do that? Or do y'all just put it in that hole? I break it. And I think this comes from just trying to make sure you, you know, extend how much you have, right? You want to make sure you have enough. You know, especially you got a family. You want to make sure you have enough to feed the whole family. So you, you break it in half. But I'm going to keep these whole right there. Okay, but yeah, there we go, let that cook, let that cook, but do y'all like y'all, how do you like your pasta, al dente, or soft, mushy, or, and also do you break your pasta in half, yes or no, and if you do, what did you learn that from, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna let that cook. So now it's time to do this corn, see, and I'm going to spray it with this, um, this oil, okay, and put it in the oven. I like to put it in the oven to cook sometimes to make it crispy, so we're going to see if this is going to make it crispy. That's almond oil to spray, just so y'all know. So I'm going to put it in the oven on 400. I had already kind of thawed it out a little bit, and then... In midway, I am going to season it with just regular pepper. Bring it out a little bit more. So I am actually going to use this. Um, I think I'm going to use a different type of the white pepper. Y'all ever use that white pepper? So I'm going to put some white pepper. Who came out really? Who okay. And then... <laughs> I am also going to put some of the Hawaiian sea salt in there as well, if I can find it. Here we go. Yep. You don't got to over-season it because you're going to have the the um, garlic Alfredo sauce, which is already seasoned. The Barillo is seasoned anyway. So stir that around. Put a little bit more of this white pepper. I don't know what it is about me putting that white pepper on there, but... And I'm going to put some of this onion salt, just a little bit. Let's see. What did I grab over there? Okay, onion salt. I was trying to figure out what I was going to put on there. Okay, a little bit of onion salt. Okay. And then I'm just going to stir it around. So it goes throughout. Cut that in half right there. Okay. Oop. Pop that back in. And then push that back in and let it cook some more. And then I had to go and get this naan bread. Naan. And I put it right there. Naan. It was a garlic naan bread. So I put it in there. N -A okay, y'all. So I was trying to, because I have limited pots <laughs> right now, I was trying to um, steam the broccoli in this pot over here but it didn't do so well. So I'm gonna put it in here and kind of get it together with the chicken. So first I am going to spray, I'm not gonna do, do vegetable oil, I'm going to do the avocado oil. My daughter, I know she's gonna eat eat it up, so <laughs> making sure it's really good. So I'm gonna put some avocado oil, and then I am going to pour the broccoli in there so I can cook. I have this non bread cooking is ready. Basically, <laughs> it's hot. Woo! Put that over there. On the cutting board. Woo! Hot! Um, 
I'm glad I just did that. <laughs> that was impromptu, impromptu, guys. Impromptu. Okay. So, this isn't too high. But, do that. I'm going to add a little of this garlic Alfredo Bertolo. Little Bertolo. Okay, because that got to go on the rest. So, that in there let's see if that gets a little bit of soft it has a little crunch to it already which i don't like it soggy so i probably should have bought two jars of this but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work so i just have my son buy another one tomorrow <laughs> so before he comes So we just let that, let that cook. I'm gonna put some of this chicken in there. It's basically done. It's not chicken, it's, it's corn. Which is not vegan, it's vegetarian. So, yeah, let that cook. Get a little soft, and that should work with softening up that bite. Only reason I'm adding this corn is because my my daughter, you know, she likes chicken, so I'm just gonna use the corn. I ain't gonna tell her it's corn. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in there. She be asking questions like, "What is that?" So what I'm going to do is season my broccoli is good to season the different items if you're making them separate then from the actual pasta so just a little season not much not much not much just a little something something And it looks like it's ready. Okay, so got my pasta ready. Let me put some of put the chicken in there. So we can just marinate in there. Might as well. It's not chicken, y'all. I keep saying chicken. Put the corn in there. I'm gonna say corn. <laughs> it's not chicken, y'all. I ain't went back to eat chicken after 17 years, no. My body, if I was to eat some chicken today, my body would reject it. I'm listening to some music in the background, a little jazz, a little something something by, his name is Robert Glasper. I had put some white pepper on the chicken, on the, I mean, on the corn, but I don't know. Not seeing the pepper on that gets me kind of like, is it on there? Is it on there? Ooh, not too much. Not too much. Oh. Okay, so we good there. I'm going to move this back over here. And it's a can of little, little dummy on my water. Put a little water. I should make me some tea tonight. Loosen it up. Y'all see that? Loosen it up. You can put a little oil in it to loosen it up too, y'all. I don't have any olive oil, so I got the avocado oil. But there you go. So now, and you can make your own sauce. I've made my own sauce before, but 
this is the lazy way, <laughs> if you ask me. Because you don't know what preservatives and stuff is in here. I'll put in my chicken and my broccoli. And stir. So I'm going to stir, y'all see, and I stick, so I'm going to pour a little, sometimes it's thick, you can throw a little water in there, shake it up, I'm going to put some of my Parmesan cheese in there. Oh, I could use some nutrition though too. So some nutritional in there. Put some Parmesan. I use the Walmart brand because hey, and cheese sauces we have there. <laughs> Put some Parmesan. Put a little pepper. little pepper and that's to taste I like to have some taste to mine so I make sure it's seasoned in a way that I can taste it right everybody season they stuff different and I'm just gonna stir that cheese in stir it I don't want it too high I don't want it to burn so just stir a little bit more pepper, a little bit more parmesan, and stir, and then I'm going to put some more of the sauce. sauce. For that, I'm gonna put it in this container though, put it in the refrigerator. So, yeah, we basically done, cut it off, and there we go. Now, I'll let y'all see her eating it so y'all can get the review. Okay, so I'm cutting up this nine into pieces, and I cut up all these pieces, y'all. And she's talking about she didn't want none, she wanted regular garlic bread, she put it in the oven. But that was a little bit pricey, so I got this. I already had it, so I ate some. But look at her. She is tanning to look at as she's on her iPad. And she wanted to eat my room. And she can. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, guys, she said it was yummy. And she looked at the camera, so here's my food. Hi, Yogurt. No, uh -uh. Don't eat it. I'm going to eat some too. What? Some more. Go ahead. You can eat some. You can eat as much as she wants. You, you, you can eat as much as you want. I apologize. I'm just gonna put a little piece in there when you say it's good. That's all. The little piece. I ain't gonna watch, I ain't gonna do what you eating. Okay. My apologies. Next time I'll ask. So you can eat as much as you want. Okay. Okay. Amen. That was a longer prayer. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need a little bit more sauce, but this is good. Mm -hmm. My nine bread. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, well. I think more. Well. Mm. So this is good. You didn't take that long. Mm -hmm. That was a hit, y'all. She loves it. I love it. And I'm about to enjoy my meal. Y'all, yeah. bedtime. It looks like in my bed, but yeah, I got on my hair bonnet by Michelle and hair. I already washed my face, it's clean, and I'm about to put on my yeah, aqua four lip balm. Mm hmm, gotta have nice, soft lips. Yep, everything's clean and fresh, and I'm ready to go to bed. Bye bye, giving you love, joy, 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 and peace.